Hello YouTubers. Well it's Saturday. I believe it's October 3rd. The year is 2009 and I thought I'd get on and uh, get the camera out and do a little bit of an update. I'm out in my backyard and I have some help around here. My two Labrador Labrador uh, retriever puppies. I guess they're grown dogs now. They're year old. They're kind of wandering around. So if you see <laughs> if you see some commotion here with the camera, you'll know one of them is knocked over the tripod or maybe the biggest one. Big Daddy likes to try to get up in my lap. He likes to crawl up in my lap when I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down out far back side of my backyard, out next to my bamboo garden and I thought I'd just come out and, and uh, talk a little bit. Yeah, you know October is, is a fine, I guess to me, the best weather month here in the deep south. We have some beautiful weather. And there's a poem that I want to read to you, not on this video, but maybe later today or tomorrow. Uh, it's called October's Bright Blue Weather. And I want to turn the camera around here and show you why that poem is uh, appropriate for this time of the year in Alabama. I kind of pointed the camera there up toward the sky. You can see it's uh, pointing through some of the bamboo branches. And there's still uh, one of our deciduous trees over there that still has green leaves on it. Uh, leaves haven't changed around here yet. The color is still uh, green. There's beginning to be just a little bit of light, very light yellows and brown the trees. Uh, and due, due to some dry weather, some leaves have fallen on the ground already, but we're definitely not in our uh, our uh, leaf color change time of year here. But take a look at that sky there. You may hear the wind blowing around a little bit. The wind's kind of up today. But that is crystal clear, bright blue, uh, deep south, northeastern Alabama weather. Blue sky. So later on I'll read that poem to you about uh, this beautiful blue sky in this time of the year here in Alabama. And last night is also clear and the stars were just uh, just glistening and we had had almost a full moon last night and the moon was so bright that it was casting sharp uh, shadows on the ground. And I got up sometime during the night and looked outside and uh, the, the moon was so bright it looked like there had been a snow on the ground. The, the ground was almost white with the, the moonlight last night due to being such uh, clear skies. Okay, I've got the camera back around on me now. I want to show you some of the things, you know, if you've watched my videos over the past few months. Let me get my refreshment open here. I'm a addict for Coca-Cola Diet Coke. I drink too many of them. Yeah. <laughs> one of my vices, I guess a man, is do a few vices. And a, a Diet Coke is one of my vices. I just drink too many of them, but I sure do like them. But what I was saying, if you watch my videos over the past few months, you know I've remodeled. We've been remodeling on my house here for uh, the past three years. Got an old house here. It's about, it's almost 40 years old now. Well, 30 years old now. We built 1979. And uh, we've decided to remodel it and been doing some things inside and outside and practically have made a new house out of it. But one of the things I didn't have and I've, I've uh, always wanted and I've never <laughs> you heard one of the dogs there. <laughs> that is Big Daddy. Let's see. Now that is a little bit telling Big Daddy to stay away from her master. She's here. She's here behind me. And the big dog, the bigger one. Uh, has come up and uh, she didn't like it too much. So, you hear all that commotion. They're not, <laughs> she's not mean at all. She has a bad, uh, bad growl and bark and that's about as far as it goes. They're just two big clowns. Hush, hush, hush. <laughs> I told you they'd probably get in the video. Anyway, what I was saying, I've always wanted an outside garage and I want to show you, I'm building a two-story, uh, I guess it's a barn really, that kind of matches the far end of my house. And I want to get down and, and show you what the far end of the house looks like in case you've forgotten. And then I'll come back and, and uh, take a picture of, uh, it's in, in the process of being built. Uh, have the slab poured and have some of the walls up. But I'll come back. I'm having to dodge uh, the puppy here with my Diet Coke. <laughs> He's after the Diet Coke. But I'll come back and show you the construction project. And I've got to calm these two dogs down. I might pan around here and <laughs> show you what's making all the noise. There is Big Daddy. 
he's a big one of the two. And again, if you've watched my videos over the last uh, year, these pups were born about a year ago. We had a stray uh, mother dog come up and see yeah, if she's running now. Anyway, that's a little bit, the female puppy. She's got down in the in the bamboo there. But anyway, a year ago we had a, a stray mother Labrador come up and had 10 puppies. If you want to see those, you can go back in my video, some of my old videos and see them. And we kept two of the puppies and they're full grown now. They, they weigh about 100 pounds, about 100 pounds a piece. And he's hard to keep up with. Uh, go back and lay down. So there's a little bit. A little female. She was uh, the runt uh, around in Alabama. We call them runts. A small dog out of the litter. And then Big Daddy, the male, was uh, one of the bigger ones. But they get along pretty good. But a little bit there keeps Big Daddy pretty straight. She'll fuss at him about when they're eating. And she'll fuss at him about when he's getting uh, more attention than she is. So okay, I'm going to shut it off and uh, move on with the video. And old little bit has decided that on this bright blue October day, do you think she'll just take a nap, I guess? Okay, I've moved the camera around. And that's looking at the back side of one end of the house. And it, uh, as I say, it's kind of barn shaped. Uh, that type roof is called a gambrel roof. And my plans are to uh, make the, the, my workshop, my outside barn, look uh, pretty much like that. Uh, that part of the house is 22 feet wide and 32 feet long, so my garage will be the, my barn, whatever you want to call it, will be the same. It'll be 22 feet wide and 32 feet long. And uh, down below we'll have a, a workshop and an area for things that need, need to be done there. And then upstairs there'll be a, a storage area. So I'm going to shut it off again and move around and show you the progress on the garage. And you'll see here is a little bit of a construction site going on. What you're looking at is the uh, entrance to the barn. And you're seeing some of the walls for the first floor there. Got a little wind coming up, so you're going to hear some popping and cracking probably. Uh, you see the open for a 10-foot roll-up door there in front. And if you'll notice in the middle of the, the uh, slab, there's a concrete slab there that measures 22 feet by 32 feet. And out in the slab are some four by six posts that go up uh, about 20 feet. And those posts will support the second floor and the roof and, the, and everything that's above the first floor. So right now we're still putting the sheathing around the outside walls. Probably finish up that unfinished side today. I have a, a real good helper that uh, I guess I'm his helper that <laughs> comes and does a lot of my uh, helps me with a lot of my construction. So he'll be here after a while and we'll put up the rest of the the wafer board, the chip board, and that'll pretty, pretty well have the uh, bottom floor done. And then we'll start putting up joists and whatever for the second floor. So that's some of my progress in the backyard. As soon as I get this done, we're gonna, going to clean out the two-car garage in the house and uh, probably put up some new sheetrock on the walls and finally be able to move our cars and park them inside. And this, as I said before, will be an outside workshop, uh, storage area, and I may even fix a little corner out there to do some uh, YouTube video work in. So that's what I've been up to. So I'll end this video. It's getting pretty long, so I'll end it, and I'll talk to you later.